Yo, Andrew here. Today I'd like to teach you how to find the molar mass of potassium hydroxide. Take a look at this table I've made. It's going to be easy peasy. Bam. So the first thing we're going to do is write the elements we see in the compound. So potassium, oxygen, and hydrogen. Then we write down the number of atoms of each, and that's where the subscripts come into play. Now, if you don't see any subscripts there, put in a one, because there is assumed to be one of them. All right. Otherwise, if there was zero of them, well, what the heck would the letter be doing in the compound? Right? Then multiply by the mass of the element. We're going to use the periodic table to help us out. So the mass of potassium is 39.1, hydrogen is 1.01, and oxygen is 16. All right, so let's plug them in. So this is 39.10, oxygen was 16, and hydrogen was 1.01. Then we're going to find the total mass of the element here in the compound by simply multiplying this row on a cross for each element. So that's going to be 39.10, 16 for oxygen, 1.01. It's the same as all the masses, but that's only because there's only one atom of each. And then when we add this all together, we get 56.11. The units here are in terms of grams per mole because we're solving for a molar mass. So there is to it. All right. Thanks so much for tuning in. And I look forward to helping you with more problems. If you can, like and subscribe. That would be amazing. And we've got thousands of other videos out there for you. Take a look.